Hi, welcome to Nourishment Connection. I'm Angela, and as part of my Cook With Me series, today we're going to make some breakfast quinoa. And breakfast quinoa I came up with because my husband is not a fan of oatmeal, and of course it's great if you can incorporate whole grains into your breakfast and cut out as many refi refined grains as possible. Even when you're eating whole grain bagels or whole grain toast or whole grain cereals, you're still eating refined grains. So trying to eat whole grains for breakfast is ideal. And getting that complex carbohydrate into your body for a good sustainable energy source is fabulous and helps you get going for the day. So um, I'm starting with my liquid, which is half juice and half water. And I'm just going to get that going so that can start getting to a boil. Now if you're going to use a fruit juice, uh, I'm just going to insist strongly that you use a juice with no sugar added. No sugar added. That's really important because if you use a juice that has sugar, you're kind of undoing the purpose of eating the whole grain. So the sugar is going to give some sweetness to the whole grain without us having to add a bad sugar to our breakfast. So that's a key. The other thing um, is the whole grain itself. This is the quinoa. And the first thing that you do is I just soak it for a couple of minutes. It just helps. Um, it actually is going to, it reduces the cooking time slightly the longer that you reduce it. And then I rinse it. And rinsing whole grains is an important step. A lot of times there's just kind of debris on them. Um, and some grains have more debris than others. So quinoa typically doesn't have a lot. When you use a grain like barley or camu, you'll see more dust come off. And the rule of thumb is just to rinse it until the water runs clear. So the water is running clear. I stop rinsing. And I rinse with filtered water and I cook with filtered water. I live in an area where our water is not really nice to drink or do anything with. So I use filtered water for everything. And I put it in my strainer and then I just let that excess water kind of drain until my water has come to a boil. And it just takes a couple minutes to do that. And once it does come to a boil, um, you're just going to give it a slight pinch of salt, just like you do with any grain that you cook slight pinch, that's it, um, and then you're going to put the grain in and you're going to turn your heat down because you, you're not going to cook a grain on high heat. Um, uh, and the quinoa typically I cook on a medium low heat, I'm on gas heat, but I go up to nine and I usually cook it at about three. And uh, it usually takes almost exactly 20 minutes to cook and then you let it sit covered for about five minutes after you take it off the heat and then you fluff it. And we um, are going to go right into the water after it's boiling. Now, in the meantime, what you can do, I add nuts to my whole grain for my breakfast because it's important to have a good fat. Fats take two hours longer to burn than other foods, so they help stave off hunger, which is really important. And fats are good for a whole lot of other things. Nuts also help complete the protein that's in your whole grain. So it helps you get a complete protein for your breakfast without having an animal food. So I have, it's a heavy quarter cup, so it's probably closer to say a third cup of nuts. And I have already made two cups of quinoa. I'm making another two cups. So it's gonna be a little more than a tablespoon of nuts per serving. That's the way it'll work out, which I'm fine with. I have my coffee grinder that I use for nuts and seeds. So. I take my walnuts, which are super high in omega-3s, always a great pick for your nuts. I just give them a light chop. You don't even have to do that if you want big nuts. It stretches them so they go a little further, and it makes you feel like you're getting, you're getting more of a nut. All right, my liquids come to a boil, so I'm going to take my grain here, and... I'm just going to throw a little salt, just a little pinch of salt, and I'm just going to throw my grain in, and then I just give it a little mix to make sure all the grain comes off the sides of the pan, 
and I'm gonna cover it and let it come back up to a boil, which is gonna do pretty quickly, and then that's when I turn down the heat, as soon as I get the temperature back up. In the meantime, I have this quinoa that I already cooked, because I like to pretend that I'm on a cooking show when I do these videos with you. It's a lot of fun. And um, I'm gonna fluff it, and all you do to fluff it is you just stir it. Fluffing means stirring. And we like to call it fluffing because it gets super fluffy. And it's just, you just do it like that. That's it. So if I'm dishing out, you know, a serving of it, you just, you can just do it like that. And then that's when you can add your nuts. And what I do when I'm preparing for the week, to be honest, and then, you know, you can put your fruit in, is I will make a big, just a super big bowl. Like I'll take all four cups of the quinoa, I'll take all the nuts that I crushed, and I put it all together for, for the week, or for however many days it's gonna last, and it's, I just leave the fruit out. And so then I have this fabulous, delicious breakfast with my fruits, my berries, my quinoa that has that apple cranberry flavor, and my walnuts. I have a really balanced, delicious breakfast. It's awesome, and you should totally try it.